is Jessica. I'm a librarian here at WMPL. Today I'm going to talk about Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan. Jennifer Egan is a Pulitzer Prize winning author. Her previous book was called A Visit to the Goon, Goon Squad, so perhaps you had read that one. This one was highly anticipated because of the success of the last book, and it's quite good. It's a story of Anna. She is about 12 years old, and she gets she's very special because she gets to go on errands with her dad. Her dad takes her on all sorts of outings and trips for his job. We're not sure what his job is. We know that he dresses up very nicely and sometimes borrows the neighbor's car to make him look more well off than he actually is. He goes into nice neighborhoods and he has suspicious meetings with powerful people. At one point, he has a meeting with someone named Dexter Stiles. And Dexter Stiles really stands out in Anna's mind. She remembers him as being charismatic and smart and powerful and uh, brilliant and, and very good looking. Um, soon after this visit with Dexter Stiles, Anna's father decides that Anna should no longer accompany him on these trips of his. Um, he decides that she's getting too old and she's starting to be influenced by what she's seeing. Of course, Anna doesn't know what she's seeing and as the reader, we don't really know what she's seeing, but he's into some sort of shady business. So he basically tells Anna she cannot go with him any longer on these trips and she's crushed by this. She really values her relationship with her father and she loves leaving the house. You see at home she has a mother and sister who she loves dearly but her sister is severely disabled. She can't uh, walk, she can't sit up, she can't do anything on her own. So sometimes being at home feels depressing and desolate. So um, now we're gonna fast forward a few years. Anna's in her 20s and her father has left the family. Uh, it wasn't an accident, he purposely left the family. He left all of his affairs in order, but Anna doesn't know why he left and her mother doesn't seem to either. So she's, you know, has mixed feelings about her father. She's not sure where he could be and why he would have gone and why he, um, you know, basically shunned her all those years ago. She has a lot of questions about her father. But now it's up to Anna to support her mother and her sister. Her mother is full-time caretaker to her sister, so she cannot work. So Anna decides that she's gonna get a job. Now it's during the Great Depression, actually the war is starting, and she um, is able to do some jobs that previously were not allowed, uh, were not open to women. And the job that she's most excited about is working in the Brooklyn Naval Yard. She becomes the first female diver and she gets to go underwater and repair the ships that are helping win the war. She's very proud of this job and people are really surprised that as a woman she's able to do it, that she's strong enough and brave enough. So Anna's become really um, a strong woman in her own right and is supporting her family and doing a good job of it. One day though, she runs into Dexter Stiles and she realizes that now is her chance to sort of get answers to all these questions that she has about her father, her father's disappearance, and what exactly her father did for a living all those years ago. It's a good mystery. Um, Anna is a wonderful character. All the, all the secondary characters are great too, but you really feel for her and you're really invested in her situation. I hope you'll check this one out, Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan.